All right guys, welcome to the video and in this video we're going to take a look at how to implement chips. Chips are basically small pill sized compact elements in your UI that can be used really in a versatile way. You can use it to specify hundred of type, hundred different types of stuff. Basically, for example, if you had multiple select, you can specify the uh, items selected as small chips and add a cross to their end so that they could dismiss them or instead of radio buttons like here over here in this photo they've used the chips to basically select type and then choice chips uh, so in a lot of apps that you must have used they give you a lot of options in the start to choose the options that you like so that they could tailor made uh, the experience for you basically so chips could be used for hundreds of different things and that's why I love uh, the, them as a UI element because they can just be used anywhere where, where you have to specify some kind of category or something. So we'll take a look at two different types of chips. So let's get started with the first one. You're going to make a simple div and let's say Java between them. All right, so we'll give it a background with BG hyphen blue hyphen color. So this is what we have right now. Now, Chips are supposed to be small and compact, so I'll give it a text XS. And this is how you can specify text size in Tailwind CSS. Basically, text hyphen XS or SM or LG. Yeah, this goes up to it. I think 3XL or something. So right now I just need XS. And then I'll add just a little bit of horizontal padding. Now that I have that, to give it a pill shape, I can simply say rounded hyphen full. Yeah, and now this has that pill sort of shape. Now, now that we have this basic pill going on for us, chip, we can see how to implement a chip where we have a cross icon on the end. So instead of Java, I'll say JavaScript, let's say. Yeah, so this is our chip. Now we want to have a cross icon sort of in the end to signify that on clicking this cross icon, you can remove this chip from selection basically. So I'll scoot over to heroicons.dev. This is my favorite place to get my icons. It's by the creator of Tailwind CSS. And I'll grab this X circle icon. So all you have to do is click on this icon and it will click uh, copy the SVG for it. So I'll go over here and paste in the SVG. And now that we save it, uh, you can see it's really, really, really messed up because you have to signify a uh, uh, height and width for your SVG icon to be the right size. So I'll just say H3W3. Yeah, now it's the right, right size, but it's not rightly aligned. For that, we can simply, simply use Flexbox. So let's say Flex for display flex, justify center for justify content center, and items center. Yeah, now these are really backing up against each other so i can add a little margin to the icon uh, let's say margin left one yeah and now as you can see there's a lot of empty space between this icon and this border so to you know uh, solve that issue we can use a little bit of negative margin on the right side so all you have to say is hyphen mr1 yeah and that looks more sorted yeah and if you want, you can maybe add a hover color on these tips. So let's say hover BG blue 500. Yeah. And we can add the same hover color on this chip as well. You would only have a hover color when clicking these tips would give you some action. If you were using chips only for representing the uh, category or something then you won't need a hover color i guess so all right guys that's it for this video i have a whole lot more planned for this tailwind css tutorial series so definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon to you know stay notified about whenever i put up a new video and if you find this video helpful just drop in a like and let me know in the comments if you have some feedback thank you guys